One day, Andrea was out fishing in her boat. Suddenly, she felt something pull on the fishing line and saw it was a shark. She pulled and pulled on the fishing rod until she had the shark right up in the air. Looking in its mouth, Andrea could see an old rusty key stuck in its teeth, making the shark's mouth very sore. Andrea felt sorry for the shark, so unhooked the line and let it go back into the sea. The shark stayed nearby with its mouth open like it was asking her to help. Andrea bravely used her paddle to take the key out of the shark's teeth and the grateful shark swam away. On the side of the key was the, written the word Heart Lake Castle. Hmm, for Andrea. I wonder if that is the old castle near to Heart Lake City that has been locked up for years and no one can get into. She rode back to shore, got in her car and drove off to this mysterious castle. She arrived at Heart Lake Castle which was totally surrounded by a deep moat full of water. The gate to the bridge was locked shut so she put the key she had found t into a rusty lock and the door opened. She could still not get in as the drawbridge was still up. But looking around, she saw a lever hidden behind a bush. She tried pulling it, and with a loud creak, the drawbridge came down. Andrea crossed over and was in Heart Lake Castle. She walked through the entrance into a big hallway with a fireplace and a table. It was a bit dark, so she tried to pick up a large candle, but it tipped over and the table suddenly swung up. It was a secret compartment, and inside was a strange, dusty red book. Gently lifting it out, Andrea opened it up and found a list of rhymes. The first one said, Where it's hot, pull the dot and get a shock. Hmm, for Andrea, that must mean the fireplace. Now I need to look for a dot. She pulled a handle with a golden circle on top, and with a groan, the whole fireplace swung open. Andrea jumped back in surprise. There was a knight standing there, holding an axe and a golden key. Andrea realised he was not moving. It was only a statue. She took the golden key from his hand and read the next rhyme in the book, which said, Where it's tall, pull something small, and don't fall. Looking around, she spotted another candlestick next to a tall column and with a hard tug managed to push it over. With a loud rumble, a large staircase opened up in front of her and Andrea nervously started climbing up. She found herself on a platform in the castle, but there was nowhere else to go. Looking in the book for a clue, she read the next one which had jumped to the sky to climb up high. Looking up, she could see a stone walkway jutting out from the next floor of the building. She tried reaching up, and with a big jump, managed to hold on to it. The walkway slowly lowered down, and she clambered up the steps to the to the top floor. The next one just said, "Turn the thing to meet the king." It was a wooden handle that she decided to try. With each turn. The turret on the castle also turned. Into view came a golden throne with an amazing picture of an old king. Looking in the red book again, the final rhyme said, The last test is to find my treasure chest. Andrea looked all around on the top floor of the castle. Going behind an old mossy pile of stones in the corner, she spotted a wooden ch treasure chest. She used the golden key and with a lot of tugging managed to open it. Inside were jewels, coins, a crown and a golden tiara. Andrea tried on the tiara and it fitted perfectly. Now she was princess of Hot Lake Castle. She carried the treasure chest down to her car and drove off to Hot Lake City to tell her friends about her new amazing adventure.